Lieutenant! Two regular army! Lieutenant! Well, we've been over this. That sniper barely missed you back on the beach. Until the mission is over, there'll be no more saluting or signs of rank. I'm in charge here, Medier! Do you wish to interrogate the prisoners? I know they're beat. Why they look so sullen. You're wondering why we haven't killed them yet. There is no greater shame than being taken prisoner. Get this golden boy, I just seem to know what he's doing. Not got the no kaiso to. See that, boys? He slapped that Jap right upside the head. It was merely to remind him of his place. His shame was the tone of voice that he used with a superior. I respect the Japanese, Corporal. Respect, we're here to kill the sons of bitches. Do you know why we are fighting the Japanese, Private? With respect, sir, these bastards attacked Pearl Harbor. And why did they attack Pearl, Private? Because they hate the US of A and our way of life. They attacked the U.S. because we cut off their oil. What would we do if another country denied us the gas to run our cars? <sighs> that was a good show back in the 90s. I was just discussing with Finbar here how well you were doing. Have a seat. Yeah, my real name. And you can just forget all about it. You boys have a new case. A poor Hispanic woman murdered near City Hall and left lying naked in an alleyway. Yeah, <laughs> sounds like some of my days. Naked woman, sir? Yes. That didn't sound right. Oh, to have fuck it. Quite a run of them since the Dahlia fiend first struck. Phelps is politely trying to hint that he thinks the Mendes case is hokey. Well, young Phelps, you win some and you lose some in police work. You're happy with the Mueller case, sir? Over the moon, boys! If an Irishman yeah. tells you he's over the moon, just go with it. With the evidence, the witness, and the lack of an alibi. Now, get out there and catch me another sinner. In other words, don't fuck with an Irishman, but, you know, it's just, just, just go with it. I don't know if that actor's Irish. I'm just, I'm just going by the accent. Before I drive any, well, I'm not gonna drive. I'm gonna try not to drive. Uh, let me see here. From what I remember, from the last time I played this, you could actually trip skip to crimes, but it doesn't look like we got any crimes to. Jesus, solve. So, you can drive. You have the address? It's the alley off Aliso between Los Angeles and Alameda. You're kidding. The next one will be opposite Central Station. Count yourself lucky, Phelps. Most guys would kill to land a case so close to their desk. Yeah, it means they can pop in to hit the office supply of hooch whenever they need it. You know, that ain't a bad idea. That is not a bad idea at all, Phelps. Detectives, they're ready to start the show. I'll take you through. Oh, for Christ's sake. Crothers, Pinker. The cause of death is pretty apparent. We thought we'd best wait for you when you're ready. The lacerations on the neck would indicate a great deal of force. Only 21 years old. But why the library card? Did he want us to find it? Another wedding ring torn from the finger. No skin under the fingernails. Kiss the blood, BD. The evidence in the Muller case was solid. I'm not convinced about Mendez. The best way to get away with murder is to pin it on somebody else. I'll bet a month's salary this is a copycat. Strangled, battered, Yeah, naked. yeah, yeah, we know the M.O. So does every jerk who kills his wife and girlfriend looking for a way out. 
I've spoken to Brown. He still believes the Dahlia perp has medical experience. Four women, all murdered, all put on display, all with messages. Mueller had no message. Look, Phelps, this is getting us nowhere. Anything for us to go on, Mel? Head injuries from contact with road, bruising from a small man's shoe, further blunt force trauma to the occipital region at the base of the skull. Could have been fatal, but clear signs of strangulation would seem to rule it out. Lipstick appears to be a similar color to the other cases. I'll see if I can nail down a brand. Ugh, come she on, took a blow some... to the head like Fuck. the others. She was probably unconscious when strangled. Yeah, put some fucking gloves on, man. That's not sanitary. Look, just don't look. Hey, uh, look at the wrong idea about me, everybody. I'm not a, I'm not a germaphobe. I'm not one of those guys that has to hand sanitize myself every three seconds like some of you fucking millennials these days. But when it comes to blood, that's a little gross. Okay, Gr blood's a little gross to me. Not other people's blood. Wait, well, let me explain. Well, fuck it, you know what I mean. It's just that blood in general is a little. Ugh, May as well you know. follow the trail. Especially back in the 40s, they didn't have AIDS and shit. They got AIDS now. HIV. You know. You gonna eat a sandwich after you're done touching a fucking bloody silk stocking? Huh? No. No, no you're yeah, not. Come and take a look at this. No, this is not John Marston's hat. Antonia. Huh. Same as the library card. For God's sake, I mean, if you're gonna be a germaphobe, use soap and water. Not hand sanitizer. The hand sanitizer is just a chemical that just it doesn't it doesn't do anything. It just takes the germs out of the way. You know, you're just you're just making your immune system even more fucked up and weak. You're gonna look like Elijah Wood within like ten years if you keep using hand sanitizer. What you need to do is you need to use soap and water like our ancestors did. Proximity to the scene plus the blood stains. No way is this coincidence. As you know, our ancestors never even used soup, soap and water. They used dirt. They used fucking dirt. Like real men. Look at this guy. He doesn't even have any gloves on. He doesn't give a shit. If you do that shit nowadays, you're gonna die of like all kinds of different types of things. But yeah. You know. On it goes. We kept the area pristine for you boys. Let's check it out. Spoiler alert, this is going to be a prop in a future case. Look forward to that in episode probably 19 of Drunk Gaming. The way this fucking season's going so far. That episode will air sometime in 2020. Once again, with the way this season's going so far. House keys, stuck up like bait on a hook. You think he's trying to lead us somewhere? Probably all the way to City Hall, that brazen son of a bitch. <laughs> That's got to be a code or a cipher. I guess if you were blind, I would say, he killed me. I know, you're not supposed to assume gender, it's 2018, but I'm assuming it's a he since most serial killers are men. That is a fact, that's not sexism, you can Google that. Where are you taking us? Great tool for extracting information.
great tool for extracting information. Not pertinent to this case. Empty? Where is all of this meant to be taking us? You didn't even shake it. How do you know it's empty? Come on, man. He wants us to find these things. He's left them for us. There you go, Phelps. You got a new M.O. I told you he was our guy. Or he might just be getting more confident. <laughs> Enameled and gold-plated. This was precious to her. Great idea for a free room game. The whole game you spend following a fucking blood trail and side quests pop up. Who's with me? Come on, kickstart that up. shit. Maybe you can get Team Bondi to. Oh, right. Too soon. It's too soon. The word Bondi means something in Australian um, history. I, I, I came across it one time. Look at Rusty. Look at him down there. Motherfucker. Come on. What the? You know, I'm like not. I'm literally like five steps ahead of him. Look, he's going to investigate that blood stain, And then he's probably going to investigate that one. And then that one. And then he'll finally climb up the damn pipe. But yeah, anyway, no, nope, he's just walking away. Alright, screw it. Anyway, I looked up Bondi. I, I kind of came across it. I wasn't, like, researching it. Of course, the word Bondi, I just realized, me is an aboriginal word meaning water breaking over rocks. Apparently, you know, it's a, it's a very, it, it, it must be a real deep meaning for the uh, Team Bondi team. You know, them being Australian and all, and, and disbanded. But yeah, water breaking over rocks. I can't imagine a better euphemism for video game development than water breaking over rocks. Keep in mind that Horror of the Orient will probably never be developed. Water breaking over rocks. Looks as though the killer was decorating with this. Splash. Son of a bitch, once her identified. Mrs. Antonia Maldonado, 712 North Hill Street, downtown. Can you drive to this one? Fine. Where are we headed? Wait a minute. There's no line through crime scene. I don't think I've seen everything at the crime scene. Yeah, I'm very much aware we just covered like five city blocks worth of crime scene, but hang on a second here. I think I'm missing a clue. Not that. Uh, fuck. Alright, I don't want to... This is a pretty big crime scene. I don't want to risk, um... You know what? I'm just gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I got plenty of these sons of bitches. I'm gonna use one. Aha! Wait, wait. wait did it show the clue? It showed the clue. I saw a little... I, I saw it. It was a... Th Aha! Aha! Okay, there's John Marston's hat. I'm, I'm using quotations here. There you go. You feel happy, nerds? All right. I guess that's the clue that I was supposed to find. There, I'm gonna, I used a whole intuition point that I'm not that I never actually use in this game, just for that fucking hat. So you can stroke your dicks and your egos to that little Easter egg reference that probably has nothing to do with Red Dead Redemption. Also, speaking of Red Dead Redemption, when you Red drive. Dead Redemption 2 you comes out, I'm nice. going to have no excuse exactly to actually play going. this. So I'll be able to postpone Season 2 of Drunk Gaming even longer. 
And how about that? I didn't even have to fire Clay Crawford. It was Mrs. Maldonado, right? That's affirmative. All right, so then there's a husband we should be looking for. Get him? We've closed the case. Ah, uh, Rusty's razor, of course. I don't want to question your tried and tested techniques, Detective Galloway. But doesn't the DA require sound casework before he'll close the book? Not if he's got a confession. And, you know, there's uh, ways of getting it. I'm sure. See, here's the thing. Rooms, 35 cents. Beds, 15 cents. From my experience of traveling, when, when you see the word rooms, I think motel, hotel, you know, the place a normal person would stay at. But then you see beds, 15 cents. I'm getting, the, I'm getting kind of a hostel vibe there. I'm not really into hostels. No, I'm not a big horror movie dude. Yeah, I kind of like Eli Roth's directing style, but the reason I don't stay in hostels isn't because of the movies Hostel and Hostel 2, but it's because of the fact that I don't want to bunk up with a bunch of fucking strangers who could steal my shit while I'm sleeping. Am I wrong? Am I wrong to think that way? No, I'm not. No, I'm fucking not. See, I asked you a question and I'm going to answer the goddamn thing this time. No, I'm not wrong to think that. So, when it says hostels on, like, let's say, Booking.com, for example. Yeah, $35 a night? Ooh, wow, super cheap. It, 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 it expires my, my, like, inner Jew. But I don't want to sleep with fucking strangers. I'll explain that in a second. Let me, let me get my point across first. What I mean here is I don't want to sleep with strangers that, that are going to steal my shit. That's the important thing. I don't want my shit to be stolen. With rooms... Hey, you got your own room. Travel solo, sleep solo, bada bing bada boom, as the Italian Americans would say. Everything's great. Yeah, you gotta pay a little extra, but as you can see on this sign, this is 1947 standards, by the way. This is when you used to pay things with cents, not dollars. But yeah, you know, rooms, great thing. Beds! Uh, beds are a much better thing when they're in their own room. There we go, simple as that. That's about as simple as a, as a retard putting stickers on his nose right there. Whew. I don't mind sleeping with strangers. I just don't want them to steal my shit. Get me? All right. Let's move on. Wait just a moment. I'm not asking for a whole hell of a lot here, ladies and gentlemen. I'm sorry. Take another shot. Can I help you? LAPD, ma'am. Detective Phelps of Galloway. Does Mrs. Maldonado live here? Yes, she does. I'm Mrs. Barbara LaPente, the owner of this boarding house. Is there a problem? I'm afraid so, ma'am. Do you mind if we come in? Is there somewhere we can discuss this? Of course. <laughs> I'll admit you to the parlor. <laughs> Wipe your feet as you come in, detective. It's this way. He didn't wipe his feet. Motherfucker. Mrs. Maldonado was found dead this morning. Dead? Oh, no. <laughs> I'm afraid she was murdered, ma'am. We need to take a look at her things. I can't believe it. I shouldn't seem so alive. And then they're gone. <laughs> Antonia's room is upstairs. Last door on the left. Thank you. We'll be uh, back shortly. Uh, I'm sorry. I don't mean to keep laughing. It's just I remember when this game first came out and there was this meme that was going around. No, I think it was a YouTube poop. You guys remember YouTube poop? Yes, I, I, I'm aware that you're probably watching the syndicated version of this episode on YouTube and it's probably consider it poop of a different kind. But no, the term YouTube poop is this video where they, where they, they fuck with the audio of a video and the visuals. For comic's sake. Anyway, there, anyway, I feel like Eddie Izzard right now. I gotta explain the joke before I even say it. But what, what's going on is is there's 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 there, there was a video <laughs> there was a video I remember where where <laughs> it was a YouTube poop where this character right here she goes, Oh no <laughs> And just the way the audio was in the video, the way the guy warped it was just unintentionally funnier than it really 
really should be. So every time I get to this part in the game and I talk to um, uh, Barbara, it, it just it, it's a giggle fit. I can't help it. I'm sorry, but look, I gotta be a professional for the sake of the series, and I'm I'm gonna move on here. We gotta fat follow uh, Captain Salinger, and we're gonna we're gonna work this out. We're gonna find out who uh, who murdered Alejandra. Did you look at that? Someone's turned the place over. Fuck me, it's something to read. Um, hold up, hold up. Okay, we have an address. Tattersaw? Who the hell's a Tattersaw? Oh, what the hell? Antonia, further my previous correspondence on August 7th, I am writing to inform you that your petition to the Superior Court of the State of California has been accepted and a court date scheduled. Your case, docket number 98765, will be heard on September 17th. I am told that your husband, Angel Christopher McDundell, 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 fuck it, residing at 304-330 North Hill Street, Los Angeles, California, has been served with the official papers and is on notice to appear at the Central District Court on the above date. Though it is not essential, and many women in your position choose not to do so, I would advise you to also to appear at the Central District Court on the scheduled date. In my experience, a woman plaintiff's presence in cases like this one can do much to influence proceedings. And if your husband does not appear on, on September 17th, which you have told me is likely, then it can only help our chances. Yours sincerely, Fledgelic D. Tattersall L.L. Bean J.D. That's a Scottish accent, not an Irish one. Just make that, I want to make that, I was going for Scottish just before you, you know, just so you know. Uh. It's, this, it's the semantics that matter. charm bracelet wasn't among the crime scene evidence. Oh, shit. The smashed window explains why the place looks tossed. I see an iron picket. Is that an iron picket? Windows, Phelps. It's a hell of a picket. So I'd say it's for a fence. Using this thing instead of a crowbar. I wonder where it was taken from. I think from a fence. You ever hear? You ever heard of that show called Picket Fences? Came on back in the '90s. Tom Skerritt. No. Mm -mm. Weren't born yet. Okay. Well, take my word for it. It was a show. It was called Picket Fences. And if that picket is a picket, it probably came from a fence. Connect the fucking dots, people. I can't I can't do all the case work for you here. You gotta use your brains a little bit. This ain't a Christopher Nolan movie, but for fuck's sake, a little participation would be acquired. We have some Whew. questions, ma'am, if you're up to it. Yes, Detective. I'll do my best. Do you have any idea who might have wanted to hurt Mrs. Maldonado? That rat of her husband, Angel. She was serving him divorce papers. If I killed every wife to serve me papers, I'd be a mass murderer. Are you being <laughs> stupid, young man? No, ma'am. What can you tell us about Angel Maldonado? She married him when she was 17. He was cruel to her. Very cruel. She was a good girl. A little on the religious side, but a good girl. All right, look, there's two types of religious people, okay? There's the fucking zealots that are like, oh, gay people are horrible. They're going to burn them all. Hey, come to our church. There's no type, there's that, that type of, like, religious person. And, and there's other religious people who are like, hey, I love God. I believe in God, but I'm not going to push him on you. You know, two different types of religious, quote-unquote, people. 
I don't have a problem with the with the latter. What time did Antonia go out yesterday? She left around nine. Do you know where she went? No, I I have no idea. <laughs> That's that that was she the part was a good girl, I was telling you about earlier. In me. <laughs> a nosy old hag like you knows everything about the people who live under her roof. Where did she go? I think she went to a bar. She's been drinking quite a lot lately. This bar have a name? El Dorado Bar. It's a Latino place on North Los Angeles Street. That's only a couple of blocks from where we found the body. And we yet we drove all the way the fuck across town to get here to find out. Okay, well. You've had a break-in? It's the LAPD no. for you, everybody. That can't be true. Bullshit. You're being economical with the truth, Mrs. Lepenti. <laughs> what do you have to hide? I have no idea what you are talking about. <laughs> so Antonia lost her keys and used an iron bar to jimmy the back window? I heard a noise in the early hours of the morning. I thought it might be a raccoon at the milk bottles. It'd be very bad for business if this news got out. I have a reputation to protect. Antonia and her husband were estranged? Yes. She moved here after she separated from her husband two months ago. But Antonia still wore a wedding ring? She wore the wedding ring and a necklace. She always wore a religious necklace. That's about all of her jewelry. I'm feeling bullshit by that little smirk. What about her bracelet? I don't know anything about a bracelet. Bullshit. 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 In her wedding photo, she's displaying a charm bracelet. That thing? She never wore it. He gave it to her. She always kept it in that wooden jewelry box. Bitch, don't you try to pawn it. Thanks, ma'am. You've been very helpful. Pay a call to that husband of hers. Lock him up and throw away the key. We can either front Angel, seeing as the finger's pointing right at him, or we can check out the El Dorado bar. Well, it's a bar, and my liver says we should check it out. Who's with me? I got my hand raised, can't way. see it, because can it's technically radio. Fine. Where are we heading? Fucking bar, bro. A nosy old hag? Ha! And I thought I was coming on strong with the ex-wives line. Sometimes you have to be firm <laughs> to get the information you need. God damn it, ain't that the truth. That's actually a really good western. Just thought I'd point that out to you before Red Dead Redemption 2 comes out. I know it's a John Wayne movie, but just bear with well, me. Eldorado's cool. LAPD. Detectives Phelps and Galloway. Diego Aguilar. How can I help? You worked the bar last night? Yeah. Me and a temp guy from the agency. Did you have a woman in here last night? 21 years old, Hispanic, drinking heavily? We have a lot of ladies like that in here. But yeah, I know who you mean. Antonia Maldonado. Oh, what did she do? She was murdered last night. Yeesh. Oh, shit. Do you know her well? Was she a regular? Hell no. She was good and tight last night, complaining about her old man. It's a story you get used to working in a bar. She was so hammered last night, she left a letter on the bar. I'll show you. I gotta give Diego kudos for not saying, for not running off after he said, oh shit. That's usually a cop show uh, moment where they run off. Get off waiting tables. Not that they're allowed to say shit on network television where the real cop shows are, but hey, you know. Divorce papers. Semantics. Did you open them? No need to. She was shouting about it and waving the letter around. Said she was going to show him. Okay, I feel this is the perfect accent for the uh, concert. For this. Well, as Antonio Madonado did on the 8th day of August 1947, prefer her petition to the Superior Court of the State of California, praying 
For the cases that in set forth that C might be divorced from the bond of matrimony entered into with you, Angel Malahalon, we do therefore command that Angel Damalahalon, the said defendant, <laughs> the setting aside all of the beneath and excuses whatsoever, you be and appear in your proper person at the Central District Court of the Superior Court of the State of California on Wednesday the 17th, day of September, 1947, next to enter the petition of divorce from the bond of matrimony on the ground of cruelty brought by said Alejandro Maravano and will show cause, if you have any, why the said plaintiff, your wife, should not be divorced from the bond of matrimony. Witness on a brother, judge of our third oh, court of California, the year living, day of August, in the year of our Lord, 1,940 motherfucking seven. See, back then, they even they couldn't assume gender. They had to have a line for gender back then, for all you folks out there. For all you SJWs. In case you were wondering what 1947 was like. Can you remember what jewelry she was wearing? She had a necklace. Some kind of religious thing, I think. The temp guy would have more of an idea. She took the beer he served her and cried into it all night. What time did she leave? Can't say for sure. Don't fucking lie to me, That's bro. A lie. She left well before closing. You fed her booze and took her home yourself. Whoa, hold up. Look, I run a bar, okay? I don't know what you're getting mad at me for. Yeah, he's got a point. I went way too hard Sorry. on him. He's a I'm bartender. He, he provides a, a very serious fucking service to the community. Where did she go? Give me something or the LAPD will start getting interested in this place. Take it easy. She went to the cab, okay? And my phone was out of order. The closest one I knew was at the fruit market across the street, so I suggested she try there. She seemed reluctant. Did Antonia say where she was going when she left? She said she was going to serve the papers on the husband. Said that would take the smile off his face. If you ask me, she was scared. And the drink was for Dutch courage. She attract any interest? An extremely drunk young woman? What do you think? She managed to scare them off, though. Thanks. You've been a big help. No problem. Hey, get the guy, will you? We'll do our best. One last question. What size shoe do you take, Mr. Aguilar? A broad nine. I have wide feet. Say, honey, what time do you get off waiting tables? You're behind the wheel. And where exactly are we going? How about we drop in on a husband instead? See if your gut is right. I'll take a bar over a husband every day of the week. Amen to that, Rusty. A fucking man. There's a little trick to this. Abelardo yep. is in apartment 304. Which would mean he's probably on the third floor. There is a third floor. I don't know. Damn, this is a wide fucking corridor. Look at this. Jesus, you could play a soccer game in this fucking corridor. Well, maybe not a soccer game, but if you were Daniel Day-Lewis, you could set up some bottles, have an office chair, and have a little shooting gallery right in this corridor. God damn, look how big this corridor is. Jesus. If this was me actually walking upstairs, I'd probably be exhausted at this point. I don't like skipping stairs, but Cole Phelps is world class. Phelps, this could turn ugly. Forget about knocking. Stairs skipper. Hey, what the fuck? LAPD, motherfucker, you're under arrest. I 
how's this work again? Off right now. You bald son of a bitch. You made me drop my hat. Now I'm just extra pissed. Fuck this guy. Let me take you into the octagon, you bald dreamer motherfucker. Come on. Come on, you son of a bitch. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Headbutt. The Irish lullaby, you sucker. Damn. They got some decent shots in there. Oh, fuck him. Cop these sons of bitches, Phelps. He couldn't fight his way out, out of a LAPD. fucking agave you two are plant under bag. Call for some backup, Finbar. Pick up your hat later. It's the 40s. You need your hat. Galloway, badge number 564. I need a prowl car at the apartment building 330 North Hill Street. Two suspects need transporting to Central. No blues here, though. Your wife has been murdered, Angel. Antonia? Oh, God, no! Where were you last night, Angel? I was here with my brother the whole night, God damn it! You think I'd kill my own wife? You should get the whole place of going over and talk to the neighbors. And Phelps, I don't care that you just got smacked in the head. You don't call me Finbar. Yeah, whatever, Finbar. Hey, get out of the way, Finbar. I gotta check the basket. Oh, there's nothing in there, Finbar. Pardon me, Finbar. Bitch. Optimistic, Cole. Yeah, as far as uh, retarded Pollock names go, yeah, Finbar. Definitely. I need to get one of those. Bar. I mean, not an Just actual bar. Fruit market. I wonder if Angel gets all his groceries from this place. Oh my god, he's a booze smuggler. This being the prohibition, it's also 1947. It's not an issue anymore. I guess he can smuggle all the booze he fucking wants. I can't reiterate, that's a great fucking western. You need to watch that movie before Red Dead Redemption 2 comes out. Of course, by the time I actually get around... Must be a family favorite. Once I get around to editing this video, it's probably long going to be after Red Dead Redemption 2 comes out. So, it doesn't... It, yeah. Uh, wait a minute. That might just be another exit out of the place. Let's not get... Where's your fucking hat, Finbar? God damn it. Guilty. This will take some explaining. Once again, fucking gloves. Come on. Jesus. You know, somewhere Gil Maybe Grissom is rolling in his fucking grave. Got no alibi. Let's see if he picks up his hat. Come on. Come on. God damn it. What do you want? LAPD. We're making some inquiries. Make it quick. I worked nights. So you weren't home last night? No. I was at work. You know nothing about Mrs. Maldonado fighting with her husband? Those two? They're always screaming the place down. Thanks. Well, they're a Latino couple. I mean, they're very passionate people. They're probably always arguing about the, you know. Oh my God, you did in Tivo, no the latest episode Nobody of here. the Honeymooners. You son of a bitch, baby! I told you I'm trying to work. I worked like three shifts for two dollars an hour. <laughs> hey, sorry oh, that about motherfucker! That. <clears throat> LAPD, were you here last night? Yeah. My uh, 
wife and I are separated, and uh, I had the kids last night. I put them to bed early and went to bed myself. Thanks. Nowadays, a guy would get shot for that shit. Hello. LAPD, ma'am. Did you hear a disturbance last night? Yes. Yes, I did. Mrs. Maldonado lit out of here, and her husband ran out after her. You saw this, Miss... Aranda. I had the door open a crack. Did you see Mr. Maldonado come back inside after he ran out? No. I didn't. Thanks. We'll be in touch. I kept thinking you were going to call that one a nosy old hag, too, Phelps. Well-executed restraint. I'm executing restraint right now, Finbar. Where am I going now? I guess we can try out the fruit market. Kind of bugs me at the crime scene and at the Eldorado bar are not blo blocked, uh, crossed out. Gives me the feeling like there's something there that I'm missing. But I'm not going for 100% completion. You know, that's not what we're all about here at Drunk Gaming, everybody. We're all about getting through the shit. However we can. You can drive. You know, like Americans. Fine. Where are we headed? It's him. Car 11 K. Car 11 K. Come in. And he didn't get his hat. God damn it. He better have his hat by the time the next cutscene starts. I, I, God, you know. Wait, what's this? Hey, hey, hold up. Car 11K, Car 11K, come in. Car 11K, Car 11K, come in. Hold up, hold up. We're going, we're going here. We're doing this. Yeah, I set the. Yeah. KGPL, Eleven King, over. Eleven K, Captain Donnelly and Detective Sergeant Finnis Brown urgently request your presence at Central. A new letter has been found. Eleven K, en route. This is Eleven K. We'll handle the four fifteen. Why don't you come on out, Jimmy? I won't let them hurt you. Not my honey boy. I told you not to call me that woman. Now shut the hell up! You shut the hell up! That the lady of the house? It's a nice story. Two old lovebirds just moved in together. But they had a falling out. They chased her across the yard with a 12 gauge. Now it's him, Rod. Oh, love. You gotta love it. Officer down! Give yourself up! Now! You're a cop killer! Alright, I'm gonna stop camping and I'm just gonna go in. Reinforcements are on the way. Cease and desist. Come on, pop out like all that. There you go. Just like all those training exercises. You know, like where the little targets pop out and the officer shoots. It's kind of like that. Just pop right out of cup. Boom, 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 boom. Put your gun away, Phelps. Fuck's sake. Media's watching. Oh, wait. It's 1947. We didn't have to worry about that back then. All right. I guess we're going to central booking. Or Can you drive to this one? Another letter? I thought the letter was from a nut. These letters? Brown and Hanson believe they are genuine. From him. And now we sent another. You know, I really hate this fuck. This Black Dahlia guy. You seen the body? This fucking case just gnaws away at your guts. 
Hollywood. Every prom queen from every fucking hick town in America turns up here. Where do they end up? Gutted on the fucking sidewalk. The captain is waiting for you downstairs with anchor. Mm -hmm. I guess I'll follow him because I he's a he's an image that isn't blurry, and I'm not reading like any text so. I saw his picture in the paper. Worked that case with the lady cut up like the Dahlia. Mister, a man like you always loses a battle of wits because you're unarmed. Boys, come on in. Phelps, have you met Phelps? Over the moon, boys. Pleased to meet you, sir. This information is confidential and doesn't leave this room. The new letter was left in the back seat of a cab. The driver thinks it was put through the window and not left by a customer. We're checking all the spares back 24 hours, regardless. Good. Like the previous letters, it's been assembled from headlines and typed from the Times and Examiner, then glued to an envelope. What is the other note? This one? That's also new. Red Dead Redemption oh. music. Hand typed. Do you mind if I take a look? Go ahead. We've been over both documents pretty carefully. They've been wiped with gasoline, so there's no chance of prints. Usually in Red Dead Redemption, when you hear that dun 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 dun, you're probably riding around in tall trees and there's a grizzly about to fucking pop out from behind something. Nostalgia, am I right? That's the message from the Celine Henry case. See, this is that soul by virtue of this curse. Ill deeds then by Dal damned beholding good, both infinite as in, in the universe, and thou and thy their self image of compare thou now thou sittest let the hour shitteth must appear to be come come when thou must appear to be that which thou art internally and after many a false and fruitless crime, scorn track thy lagging fall through boundless space and time. That's some deep shit. That's why we called you in. You think Thank it's you. original? Not unless he's a genius. You like this nut job's poem? No, I like Shelley. It was written at least 100 years ago. Shelley? Sure, I knew that. You see, Finnis? I told you this lad was a bright boy. Sure, but what does it got to do with the case? Prometheus Unbound. Prometheus was a titan, a superhuman character who defied the gods to bring fire to humanity. The Dahlia guy believes he's Superman. Your guess is as good as mine. One thing for sure is that he's educated. What about the link to the Henry case? He could have got the wording from the papers. As you said, he is fiendishly clever and takes pleasure in taunting us. What's happening with the Maldonado case? We have the husband in custody. We haven't interviewed him yet. Went upstairs then, lads, and see if we can break him. Mary says he'll sin, and only if I guarantee he walks. Oh yeah, when he's in the police station, he, he climbs the stairs like, like a Nancy, but... You know, if this here, if this here is a wall that represents all of the officers that were killed in the line of duty, by today's standards, I bet you that wall is probably like the length of this room. I mean, come on, it's LAPD, you know, I mean, Jesus. I'm not trying to make a joke here, people, I'm trying to make you fucking think. Improved your attitude, Angel? What do you want me to say? I was with Antonia the night she died, but she left the apartment, and that was the last time I saw her. Looks like Finbar really busted his ass. So your wife paid you a visit last night. What time was that? Late, around midnight, maybe? She didn't stay long. Bullshit. You're lying, Angel. You went after her. 
I think you killed her. You're out of your mind. Her brother will tell you I was at home. Oh, the bald guy in the red shirt that I kicked the shit out of? That, that, that brother? That guy? Okay. We have a witness who confirms that you were arguing, that your wife ran out, that you followed her, and didn't come back. I know this looks bad, but it's not true. We argued, all right, but she went out, and I went out after her, and she jumped in a car on the corner. There was a car waiting for her? Can you describe the driver? Not the driver. It was too dark. But the car, it was a brown Ford Coupe. You and your wife weren't getting along. She was divorcing you. Is that why you killed her? We fought, yeah, but we weren't getting a divorce. Bullshit. I lost three viewers over reading that fucking, uh, uh, fucking divorce paper. Don't tell me you didn't get a fucking divorce. I don't believe you, Angel. <laughs> She's been granted a <laughs> decree care. nice size. She pushed you too far and you lashed out. I told you. I wouldn't accept a divorce. Well, you know, why are these there? Uh, the judge had bitch. set a date. You were going to be paraded in front of the whole city for your cruelty to her, Angel. Antonia. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> she came in drunk, out of her mind. She doesn't normally drink. She was looking around in her bag. Said she wanted to serve me papers. Me, her own husband. So I slapped her down. And she ran out. That's the truth. What size shoe do you wear, Angel? Size eight. What the is that me? When we found your wife, her jewelry had been removed. Was she wearing her religious medallion last night? Sure. She always wore that. What about the charm bracelet? Was she wearing that? You know about that? She never wore it. She didn't like the message. She kept it locked up in that box of hers. Your wife has been brutally murdered. So how do you explain your shirt being covered in blood? You found that? I cut myself shaving. Motherfucker. You're lying through your teeth. You killed her and your brother's in on it. You don't know what you're saying. Why would I do that? Cause, cause fuck you, that's why, and I don't have anything to, uh... Mm -hmm. You don't ask, you never find out. Trying not to get the LAPD sued for a shitload of money. Oh wait, this is 1947, they didn't do that back then. Angel, I'm not gonna waste any more time on this. Give me something, or I'm gonna have you charged. My brother, Hippolyta, he said some bad things about Antonia last night. So I had a sock him one. We got into it. Keep talking. She said she came from the El Dorado bar. And? It's not one of my places. We used to buy fruit at the market down the street. But the creep there was always running his eyes all over my wife. What's the name of this fruit market? Just picked fruit. Ord Street downtown. One last question, Angel. Do the words kiss the blood mean anything to you? No. Sounds sick to me. Well, there's a shitload you know, of it on your shirt, so... You're going back into a cell. You should think about whether you have anything else you need to share with us. Now where the hell are we going? I want to make it. Okay, now we're going to go to the fruit market. For all you vegans out there, I bet you're fucking ecstatic about that. You know the way. You can drive. We're going to Whole Foods. What's your read on Maldonado? I still like him for it. Seriously, that line about the guy at the fruit market making eyes at his woman? Please. We'll get to the market, and the guy behind the counter will tell us he saw Angel drag his old lady off into the night. This case will be shut like all the others. I 
handbag was left just up there, overlooking the market. Could have come here from the start and saved ourselves a day's legwork. Yeah, but we got called in back at base to look into a letter that Whiskey Boy 288 kind of fucked up when he was reciting, and we weren't able to come right back here right away. Finbar. Fuck's sake. Ooh, that's really nice flyers. Not changing the subject, Finbar. We gotta talk to this guy over here. LAPD. Detective Phelps and Galloway. Clem Feeney. What can I do for you? Did you happen to see a young woman last night? 21 years old, Hispanic? Sure, she came by last night. Why do you ask? Because you're the guy from Charmed. She was wearing a necklace? I didn't notice. You weren't paying attention, Feeney? Hey, you're getting the wrong idea. We recovered some of Mrs. Maldonado's personal items from this area, Clem. The last item we found overlooked this place. I think you're lying, and if you want our help, you better come clean with us. Oh, you think I'm some kind of nut job? That I did something to her, me? What proof have you got? Fuck you, I just didn't like your attitude. Like I made a mistake. So I'm gonna push this button. Exactly how much fruit do you sell here after so midnight, That's how detective Clem. work works. Uh, look, not much. I sell the odd bottle on the side to the after-hours crowd. Well, I don't want any trouble, I'm just trying to make a buck. The young lady arrived around midnight? Yeah, something like that. Used the phone for a cab and then left. You already knew Mrs. Maldonado, didn't you, Clem? Sure, I met her before. She seemed like a nice lady. Well, so did Shannon Dory. I shit one day when he caught me talking to her. She hadn't been back until last night. Where did she go from here? She wanted a cab, but I couldn't get her one. I was about to offer to drive her, but a car pulled up and she got into that. Can you describe the car? Brown Ford Coupe, I think. She seemed to know the guy. Mm. Do you mind if we look around? Why would you want to do that? Because we say so. I guess you can. Don't you have to get a court order or something? I have rights. Clem? Shh. Let's go through this ominously lit gold bar door. Like a fucking boss. No wonder he stays open late at night. People have to get their vitamins. Check through this stuff before we get back out there. Once again, you need some fucking gloves, man. Jesus! I cut someone who was already dead. God. It's a typical power thing. Once the stiff is dead, the creep usually feels they can do whatever they like. They must have seen it during the war. For those of you who haven't seen episode four of Drunk Gaming, uh... This was actually an object that was in a very, very... Oh, wait, no, that was episode one of Drunk Gaming. Fuck it, never mind the synapses. Let's just continue. So what are we hiding in here? This thing needs a combination. Oh, shit. Hold up. Wait a minute. Um... Yeah, there we go. Two, five, three. Two, five, three? Yeah, two, five, three. Okay. Yeah. Mm hmm. No. Perhaps. Definitely. And. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. <laughs> Wives submit to your husbands as to the Lord for the husband is the head of the wife as Christ is the head of the church his body of which he is the Savior Ephesians 5.22 
And you know my favorite Bible verse? It's, uh, well, I don't know the exact number, but it's from theologians. God will pay trouble to those who trouble you. Remember that, folks. You don't have to be religious to, to like that little quote. Just remember, God will trouble those who trouble you. I'm, I'm misquoting, but you know the one I'm talking about. Theologians. This fruit stall punk gets about 10 seconds to explain before I pull his fucking arms off. Clem! He's friends with Melissa Milano. Her Me Too movement will get him off of this. We gotta catch him. God damn it, get after him, Cole. I'll try to shoot out his tire. Wish me luck. Damn, we almost had a good Samaritan take care of that. Would have had to give him $50. GTA Voice City we reference. Should have grabbed him when we had the chance, Phelps. When we had the chance, we didn't know he was our guy. Don't go to sleep on me. Get me back in close. Strange that he'd leave a trail of blood right back to his own market. Maybe he wanted to be caught. A lot of them do. It's almost too perfect, isn't it? There's no such thing as too perfect. He's fine. He's, he's still walking. The fruit guy's getting away, Phelps. How is this pickup truck faster than this uh, Buick? I think it's a Buick. I forget. I, I don't know. I googled it one time. I, I forgot. Now who's about to get picked? Now is not the time to play around, Phelps. Yeah, that's right, now. bitch. Yeah. Yeah, you flip over, fruit fruit motherfucker. I mean, fruit because he's a farmer, not... I, I'm not saying he's gay. Where's your fucking hat, Finbar? God damn it. You're a sick man, Clem. You need help. Outstanding job on this case, gentlemen. The poor woman can now rest in peace. I'll pay the fee in the personal visit myself and remind them the crime in this city does not go unpunished. When they finish with him at the receiving hospital, we'll have him up before the grand jury. I have a meeting this afternoon with the mayor, Lance. I'll be sure to mention your names. Now, on your way. Like I said, folks, man's an Irishman. Well, if we've learned anything from this case, ladies and gentlemen, take another shot, is that I need to do these episodes way more often. I need to be... Stop being so self-righteous, like as if I'm, uh, what the hell's his name? That guy from Dread, Drag, Dragnet, and stop doing these goddamn epilogues at the end of every case, because nine times out of ten, I don't have an actual point to say, and I really have a point to say, but I'm too fucking drunk to remember it. See... I probably should drink more before I do an episode of one of these. D, like this episode, I should just keep it brief and not try to do a long stream. E, always get your alcohol from a labeled liquor store. Not one of those ones in the ghettos where all the black guys hang outside and beg you for money, but like an actual liquor store. Um, F, they don't sell uh, alcohol legally at farmers markets but they have really good all organic fruits and veggies 
for all you hipsters and social justice warriors out there. And G, thanks for watching tonight. I hope you enjoyed something. Hey, here's a bonus one for you. H, always put fucking gloves on before you touch anything that's even remotely bloody. Don't have to be a germaphobe, it's just common sense. There's a lot of STDs out there that you don't want to catch in the not fun way. I.e. Have a good night, everybody. See you in the next episode.